Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's a little dark and rainy here today, so forgive me if it's a little dark on film, but today's topic is going to be a full day of eating according to metabolic flexibility. Now, you probably have never heard about this term before, but let me put it to you this way. Think of a car that burns just gasoline, okay? It only has one fuel source, right? Think about a hybrid vehicle, which can run off of electric battery, or electric source, plus fuel. So it has the uh, abilities to switch between the two sources to run the car. Well, that is kind of like how our body is. When you're metabolically flexible, your body can switch between burning carbs and fats at any given time. Now, most of us are metabolically inflexible because we are carbaholics. We are living in a world where it's carb overload. We, we eat carbs for every meal. Our body only has a chance to fuel one fuel source, which is the carbs that we just ingested versus stored glucose or even stored fat, which is even better. So why is it important to be metabolically flexible? Well, overall, you will have a better maintenance with your weight, uh, better energy levels, you're gonna sleep better, you'll have healthier glucose levels, and your workouts might even improve, and you'll also gain muscle. There's a lot of benefits. So say I ate a banana and I go work out. My body is going to use that banana or the carbs within that banana that I just ate. Say you go eight hours without eating anything, and you work out and you just, you're fasting. Well, there's nothing immediate in your system to use as energy. So your body's more than likely, it's gonna first use up that stored glucose and then it's going to use your stored body fat. But you might be wondering, how do you know whether your body is actually burning the carbs or burning the fat? And this is where this cool little device called Lumen comes into play. It's like having a nutritionist in your back pocket at all times, and all you do is use your breath. Now you guys know that my diet is low carb, so I'm eating around 20 grams or so of carbs per day. And instead of my body using the carbohydrates or the stored glucose, I had to dramatically lower my carb intake so that my glucose stores would be de depleted, meaning gone, used up, and it would use my body fat instead. And so far, I am down about 15 pounds because of this. So the cool thing about Lumen is that it is a metabolism tracker. Whenever you breathe into this, it uses the CO2 in your breath to tell you whether or not you're burning carbs or fat. You can do this at any time. You can bring this to the gym with you. It's encouraged to do this first thing in the morning or after fasting, before and after meals, and before and after your workout, and of course at bedtime. So you're gonna use this device throughout the day to be more in tune and more in charge of your metabolism. All right, so I just woke up not too long ago. I'm gonna go ahead and do my morning reading. So there's a little on button on the back. Just press it. It says, let's go, sit back and relax. All right. It says to inhale deeply. I don't know if you can see that. Hold your breath. All right, let's see what it is. Ah, looks like I am waking up in fat burn. As you can see, there's a fat burn and a carb burn, and there's a little meter because it measures the CO2 in your breath again to show you what you're waking up to. Now, this is exactly where I personally wanna be. Obviously, one is the best for my goals. Um, however, I'm pretty happy with this. And just so you can get a better view, this is what the meter looks like, and it explains to you what your score means. Based off your results, it gives you a nutrition plan along with macros. So you can see an entire meal plan tailored to your score. So I am a huge fan of intermittent fasting. It's something I've been doing for months, but honestly, I am not a huge breakfast eater. So typically, whenever I start my day, I make some coffee with a little bit of collagen in it. And yeah, that's pretty much the first thing that I have. And then I use the Lumen again after my coffee to see what my score is after fasting.
All right guys, so I just made my coffee and I'm about to enjoy it. Again, I usually don't eat till about 11 in the morning. Cool thing about fasting and Lumen is that whenever you fast, your body obviously depletes the glucose stores and it starts to burn more fat. And by using your Lumen, you can actually check to see if your fasting is effective. All this talk about food is kind of make me hungry. So let's go make a simple breakfast that I usually eat whenever I do eat breakfast some mornings. I like to do a simple ham and cheese scrambled or omelet with an avocado and of course Cholula love hot sauce so much. Since I just did my morning reading, I'm not going to do another reading because I just did one. But ideally, if you wait a few hours between waking up and eating your first meal, you're gonna want to breathe into your lumen and see where you're at pre-meal. But since I basically just did that, we're not gonna do that just yet. But after I get done, we will measure again. And of course, before lunch, we'll measure. Now, because this is a low carb meal, I don't really think that my carb usage is gonna shoot up very high. I know that avocado has a few carbs or whatnot but I really don't think it's gonna change too much it might go up one but I don't really see it making a difference but let's find out so for dinner tonight I'm planning on making skirt steak on top of romaine lettuce and avocado and sour cream kind of like a burrito bowl but low carb friendly I'm gonna go ahead and marinate my steak now because this actually takes a few hours and I actually found a recipe in the Lumen app for skirt steak, which gave me this idea, and I'll share it up on the screen. But one of the cool things about using Lumen's app is that it doesn't just tell you what you're burning and when and how and why, it just basically gives you meals as well. Like it helps you follow a nutritional goal, which I feel like most apps don't. <laughs> so here I've got the steak, and my favorite marinade for steak involves soy sauce. A little bit a little bit of olive oil this is one of literally my favorite marinades it's so 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 good just one lime just the juice of it squeeze the lime juice in here garlic powder gives a nice full flavor chili powder and cumin give it that southwest flavor I'm gonna stir it up all right I'm just gonna pour the marinade over the steak and I'm gonna let this just marinate for a few hours until I make it for dinner later tonight. After you eat, your levels will shift a little bit. So a level three basically means that I'm burning both fats and carbs for energy now. So pretty neat. It just shows you how much what you eat and what you do throughout the day impacts your body's metabolism. Now I'm about to get started for a workout here in a little bit. I'm probably gonna do some work first and try to sneak in a workout before lunchtime. And before my workout, I'm gonna do another reading. All right, so I'm getting ready to do my workout. I just did the lumen and I took a breath because you're supposed to within 30 minutes of working out. And I got a three still, so I'm still where I was after I ate lunch. So let's go ahead, do a workout and see if things change. Okay, so I just finished my workout. I did a little bit of weights mixed with HIIT and then a little bit of yoga. So kind of a little bit of everything. I like to keep things fun and I don't typically focus on just one thing. I'm exhausted. Um, so according to Lumen, I have to measure 30 minutes after the workout. So it hasn't quite been 30 minutes yet. So until then, I'll wait, but I just wanted to say how tracking with Lumen before your workout can really help you fuel like what to eat before your workout. So I blew a three prior to my workout and basically it means I'm burning both fats and carbs, which is good. Like I can go ahead and work out and I should be properly fueled. But because I've been eating low carb for so long, even if I were on a one or two, my body is using my stored body fat to fuel everything. 
Um, however, if you're someone who normally, you know, has no carb limit or whatnot, you might want to eat a high carb snack just so your body can have that immediate source of glucose or that, you know, carbs to burn as you work out to help fuel you. Now, another thing that you've probably not noticed, I have not snacked yet today and it's almost lunch time. Now, before I started going low carb or living this low carb lifestyle, I would snack all the time because I was always hungry. But since I've dramatically decreased my carb up intake throughout the day, I actually don't get very hungry because my macros are mostly fats and protein. So it's really cool how blowing into your lumen before your workout can show you what you need to do to fuel up properly. All right guys, so I chilled out a little bit. I've been binging Vampire Diaries back there, but I'm about to measure again. Wait at least 30 minutes after your workout to measure with your lumen. Still the same. Aw, it says nice, you use carbs to fuel your workout. So sometimes you can definitely see your carb level going down. Obviously the workout I did, I didn't really sweat, so it wasn't super hard. However, if you do a strenuous workout and then breathe in your lumen, it's not surprising if your ratio or your, uh, your meter goes down back into fat burning mode. I am getting hungry for some lunch, so let's go make a low carb lunch. All right, I'm still burning both carbs and fats. There's no recommendations at this time, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat. Basically, I just got a romaine lettuce wrap, put my deli meat on there with cheese and whatever condiments you like. Mustard obviously is low carb. Lumen is not just for low carb eaters like me. It's for anyone. It doesn't matter whether you're eating a high carb, middle carb, low carb. It's all about carb cycling and it teaches you when to eat more carbs, and how to utilize carbs within your body to best suit your fitness goals. It's almost dinner time. I'm going to go ahead and take out the steak that I marinated this morning to make for dinner. Um, it's going to be basically baked in the oven at 450 for 10 to 15 minutes and then broiled for just one or two minutes to give it a good crisp on the outside. And I'm gonna put it over some romaine lettuce with some avocado and possibly even some sour cream and maybe a little hot sauce. Again, if you're not low carb like I am, you can throw in some black beans, corn, onions, tomatoes, you name it. So let's get cooking. All right, so my steak is just finished. Y'all should see how delicious this looks. So this is beyond one of my favorite recipes ever. Right before eating, again, I'm gonna use my lumen. I'm already firing it up. Later tonight, I'm going to use this before sleeping because you want to measure right before you go to bed. And of course, after I eat, I'll log another breath one to two hours after I finish my meal. Oh wow, I'm at a four. It's really crazy. Maybe it was my fiber supplement that I took. It just kind of shows you that what you eat and do and drink throughout the day can greatly affect your score. I hope that you enjoyed my full day of eating. As you can see, I don't eat a whole lot because I actually stay full throughout the day. It's kind of crazy because before I switched to low carb, carb, I can't talk, low carb lifestyle, I was eating all the time and I feel like I could never stay full. I highly suggest Lumen, even if you are not low carb, if you are just wanting to track your macros better and learn more about your body, I recommend this and guess what? I have a code for the first 100 people who are watching this video. Go into the description box, click that link and use code FITMOMMY for $50 off your own personal lumen device. I hope that you all have a great week and comment and let me know if you've tried it before. I'd love to hear about it.